Evaluating the extent of financial misconduct among Chinese officials is challenging, especially in a nation like China, where data transparency is limited and corrupt practices are widespread. This unreported or illicit income is called gray income within official circles. The corruption within the vast bureaucracy of the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, is now widely acknowledged. A research report by the U.S. National Bureau of Economic Research, or NBER, has disclosed that Chinese officials display significant levels of corruption, escalating with higher official ranks and accompanying institutional privileges. The report's authors analyzed China's housing reserve fund records from 2006 to 2013. They compared the income declared by officials with the payment required to acquire real estate, leading to three key conclusions. First, the average unofficial income of Chinese government officials constitutes 83% of their official income, sharply increasing as their official income rises. The researchers noted in their report, Furthermore, we observe that the ratio of illegal income to official income among Chinese officials increases in proportion to their rank and the privileges associated with their positions. Secondly, concerning corruption rates, it is estimated that approximately 13% of officials possess illicit income, which escalates with higher official ranks. Lastly, the salaries of Chinese government officials are not low indicating that their unofficial income does not stem from compensating for meager official wages. The researchers considered various factors that might influence their findings, including whether officials received discounts on real estate purchases, and whether the financial status of officials' parents or utility allowances played a role in their real estate acquisitions. Chinese leader Xi Jinping initiated an anti-corruption campaign upon assuming power in 2012 and research indicates that it has had a discernible impact. Researchers have observed a notable reduction in potential unofficial income stemming from real estate transactions since the launch of the anti-corruption campaign in 2013.